Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Common Craft, and we are working on the new base some more today. Hopefully, we're going to make a lot more progress than we did last episode, which, you know, we kind of already have off camera. Um, so, I dug. I dug deep. <laughs> it took, I think, like five or so hours to do. I didn't want to use TNT cannons or anything like that to kind of uh, dig this, because I didn't want to worry about all that cleanup. But I've gone ahead and I've dug out everything. This is going to be ground level. And I've started designing the uh, giant window that's going to be holding back the sea level. Now, the only problem is we're going to have to do a little bit of work here and a little bit of work there. Because, yeah, I really wanted to go with something circular. I was just originally just going to follow the natural terrain. And just have glass all the way across but I thought how cool it would be to have a more modern feel so like the theme for this base is I'm gonna call this base the quarry base and it's gonna be as if this was the region where all the stuff we build on the island like they just dug it all from out of here so and if you look I had a dungeon there and I had a dungeon there they were two little zombie uh, zombie spawners, so they weren't really worth keeping, so I had to tear them out. But, now we can actually get started. I really want to, first part of this episode, knock out this glass wall. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do section by section, just lay some white glass down, and I'm going to go back with black, light gray, and regular gray, and kind of mix everything up. That's the only thing I don't like. It's the squid somehow glitching through the blocks. Yeah, and I've got a block out of place there. But yeah, so I'm going to fill this all in with white and then come back through and do black and gray and everything. I don't know if I want to bring you guys for that because that's going to be a long, tedious task of me going up and down on blocks. And it's going to be kind of boring. I'd rather bring you guys back when we start to lay this thing out because that's going to be the fun part is deciding what we're going to have in here and where we need to put it. So I'll be back after I have this glass wall done. Alright guys, we are back. And this is the wall. Um, I went with the little logo that we used for the floor and my banner and everything like that. And I just used light blue around dark blue. Kind of give it a little design. I know it's kind of really plain. I had a really elaborate design where, like, if you look in the bottom right-hand corner of this video right now, you see the DV for Duds Versus. I was trying to put that up there using some pixel program, but with the circular shape of the wall, <laughs> it looked horrible. You couldn't tell it was a D. The V looked really nice, but the D just looked bad. So I went ahead and I just kind of wiped that out, and I thought, well, why not go simple? Because I don't want this to be the focal point of the base. Um... I'm going to have the giant tree, which I talked about earlier, here in the middle. And I really want people to be looking this way and not so much this way. This is just a cool feature, but it's not going to be the main. I still need to kind of figure out what I'm going to do for these sides. Because I don't want to tear down the sand behind this until I have these sides done. Because, you know, water's bad. Anyways, back to some planning for here. So... In this center spot is probably the best spot I want to put an elevator. And not my normal slime block launcher that launches me up. Because each floor is going to be about 10 blocks tall. Which is the tallest I've ever had a floor in a base. The first base I think was 8 blocks tall. The second base was only like 5.5 blocks tall. Now this one's going to be 10. And... I'm not going to use my normal slime block launchers like I normally do. This time, I want to have an elevator that can hold multiple people at one time. Now, the only problem is they're going to be a lot slower, a little bit more redstone intensive. The hardest part is going to be figuring out how to have the elevator know which floor to stop on or call the elevator to the floor I'm already on. Because if I decide to jump off a floor... When I have my elytra wing set up, which I really can do, except for this guy. I need to get a better chest plate without Curse of Binding so I can constantly flip through them whenever I want. But anyways, yeah, so elevator's going to go down this center spot. 
I still need to come up with a way to get from up there into the base. Over here, this wall is super thin. Like, we don't have many blocks, especially where the top floor is going to be. We don't have a lot of blocks before we break through the other side. And I don't want to extend the land out because we're on a mushroom island and that now creates spawnable blocks and that's bad. <laughs> so, I don't have a lot of room to do over here. Like, this corner piece right here is probably just going to be some cool design feature. Um, I don't want to mirror it over here. I don't want this base to be super symmetrical, even though it kind of looks like I'm doing that right now. But, so we have the elevator over here. Each floor is going to be about 10 blocks tall. This area right here, I'm going to kind of make it my own personal farming area. Now, I'm not going to have a lot of that going on in this space because I'm sharing an island with three other perfectly capable farm builders. I mean, Swabby's Guardian Farms right over there. Banks ahead of me in redstone and his creativeness so we've got some redstone builders we've got some farm builders there's no point in building personal farms on this island when we can just build bigger farms that hold all three of us which is what i think we're gonna do we've me and bank we've come up with a cool idea for a mushroom cow or a mushroom cow whatever they're called a cool farm for those guys and I don't want to really spoil it, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut because that's going to be a fun, difficult episode. <laughs> but it requires us turning this all to grass, which, oh, before I get any further, I really want to show this off because Bank has been busting his tail, converting almost a third of this island to grass. Um, I've done very little to help. I've been digging the hole and designing a wall and felt bad for not really helping but look at all this he's got almost as far as the eye can see that way grass um he just ended right here um and he ended early over here that's me trying to pull my best bank impression and turn that to grass but yeah we're actually going with the water trick because we can just kind of leave the water come back later and then switch into grass and all that stuff it's not too bad especially considering our sleep plugin we use on the server is broken so nights are a little bit long anyways let's get back to this this is going to be for some small personal farm maybe a afk fisher i doubt i'll use an afk fisher anymore i mean they were really good in the beginning for kind of middle of the line enchants for iron armor and stuff like that but i don't need one anymore um maybe a chicken farm for some temporary food until we get the mushroom farm going i'm not sure i might do some bulk storage here um because the second floor the second floor is going to be where my regular storage is and i've been contemplating uh making my storage and automated storage using tango tech's new design he's got out but one i'm afraid it's going to be a little laggy and two i'm not really a fan of keeping all my chests uh filled with an item that locks that in place because i'm stupid and i'll forget at some point to keep everything filled and mess it up or i generally do let people just come use stuff out of my chests whenever they need to they're like hey can i borrow this and i'm like yeah sure and they might not know to keep something in every storage chest so eh, might not do that but i will have what i did in the first base where i can just dump everything in a chest and i have an automated bulk storage system down below so we'll have bulk storage maybe a little personal farm over here up top we're gonna have the actual storage room there and on the third floor we'll do bedroom here and then over here since we don't have a lot of room i'm thinking like personal achievement area stuff like that now i have been thinking about dabbling in the custom advancements maybe have some server specific custom advancements i don't know how well that's going to work because we're on spigot but that's something I really want to look into. Second floor, this basically this whole area, I'm not 100% sure on what I want to do just yet because it is such a small space. I really kind of want to start here, get this going. Actually, the first thing I want to do is get that elevator in place. That's going to be the most complicated redstone piece. And I don't think I'm going to get it in this episode. But yeah, that's going to be the hardest part. But what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to go ahead and place some blocks down. 
So you guys kind of get a gist of where the floors are going to go and start. And then I'll come back. Alright guys, I am back. And yeah, I know the glass changed colors and everything like that. But yeah, so that's where the floors are going to lay. Um, first floor, second floor, third floor. Awesomeness. And I do want to use glass uh, platforms. I don't want to use blue. Blue is just the only color I have on me because I didn't... I haven't started the move yet, which made me think, as much as I really want to start on my elevator right there, I probably should go ahead and knock out a storage room so I can go ahead and move my supplies over here and don't have to keep running back and forth to spawn. So I think that's how we're going to try to knock out the rest of this episode is by getting a storage room going and that room will kind of set the pattern for how the rest of this goes. Like, these platforms, I kind of want little archways, like, or half arches that come up and support them. So that's going to be really cool. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that for the second floor, though. That's the downfall. I need to figure it, and I really want to use glass, just because I'm weird like that. I've used the glass platforms before. You guys saw my first base. I had the glass platforms. So I might have to change it into stone. Um, it's not going to be uh, that big of a deal because we're in a non-spawnable biome in the uh, not mesa pff, mushroom biome. But yeah, I guess let me start digging a hole and I'll bring you guys back. Also, this is Wednesday night and I normally put the episodes out Thursday night so you have them Friday morning. The episode may be a day late. I'm hoping not. It may come out late Friday. But I'm hoping to get it out tomorrow night it all depends on how much longer i stay up tonight and grind out the storage room so be right back all right guys before we go back and uh work on the storage room i really wanted to show this off so this is xios's nether hub he's been grinding on i know he's got a lot of help from a lot of other members on the server so all you guys who helped him thank you because we upped the last nether hub we did on the last map i thought it couldn't be done i thought the last nether hub was absolutely amazing and nothing was going to beat it and i put my foot in my mouth now i wonder if he's going to get rid of the rest of all this netherrack i think he is just not yet but i mean look at this even behind the portal to spawn town there's stuff right here oh there's a fence so i guess nothing can uh come out and get us you come through here and then we have these little areas now, this guy's... Oh, he probably spawned on that sand block. Yeah, these are areas right here. And I was talking to him earlier. I'm hoping we can use these guys as maybe tunnels to the community farms or something like that. But he's got this little spoiler wall up here. Um, but, you know, I'm just gonna break that. Don't tell X. <laughs> Let's put that back up. This is all open to everyone tomorrow, so it'll be open by the time my video goes up. But yeah, I mean, look at this hub. I, I don't know if that was a gag. I'm pretty sure that's going to come down. But, like, holy crap. This thing is just absolutely amazing. What's this? Oh, okay. Got a little warning, so I guess if you choose your tunnel. Now, in these little areas, I believe these are going to be miniature hubs. Yeah. So, people who don't... Alright, so, like, the rules are, if you're going to take a main tunnel on this hub, you've got to decorate it. You've got to finish it. You just cannot leave it netherrack, which some people have a tendency to do. If you're going to do that, I think you're going to have to go into, like, a mini hub or something like that. There's one on either side. So, if you're just going to do a tunnel to get you back and forth and you have no plans on actually finishing it, that's where you need to be, I think... That's what X says. We're going to have to wait and hear what he says officially. But, I mean, look at all this. See, he's even got the custom heads. Banks been uh, spotting these guys in for him. He has been desperately waiting for us to get the custom villagers on here. And we just haven't got that set up yet. So, yeah, we got these guys. He's got a little bit of netherrack exposed. I don't know if that was meant to or... Well, he's supposed to open this tomorrow. He may have some finishing touches, but, I mean... Check this out. It's all a bunch of cool stuff. And I wish that guest would shut up. You guys see what this says. Mushroom Island Mini Hub. What? 
I don't know if this is for us. Oh, that's really cool. Or not. Because we've got a long way to go. I mean, our tunnel goes like that way and then that way. So maybe this is for us. Maybe because we're so far out, we're going to have a little hub. So other people who are so far out want to go there. I don't even know what Guavi and uh, Sunset are talking about in that chat. But yeah, I mean, look at this. Oh, I see honey. Mm. Okay. Back to looking at all this amazingness. I mean, there's so much work. Of course, you actually got a couple little spawns up there. I'm not sure about. He tried to make this as like spawn proof as possible. And it's he did such a great job. And you check this out. He's got like miniature biomes in here. Which I think is just awesome. I mean, you can just scroll through it and you can tell which biomes are what. Based on all the little blocks and stuff. His floor patterns are really awesome. They let off just enough light. So your eyes kind of drawn to the centerpiece, but at the same time, you're looking at everything. I mean, we have our own like Hollywood sign up there. I just love absolutely everything about the hub. And like up in these areas, you can actually get to them from out there. Instead of breaking that glass again. Let's just go ahead. And... Alright, so. If you want to go up top to those little balconies, you can go up these sideways. And our old tunnels are like this way. You can see that. But you can come up this way and actually be on the balcony, which is really cool. I don't know if he's going to allow tunnels up here or not, or if that was even in the plan. But I don't know. I think it's just cool to be up here. Okay, yeah, I see where you've got some uh, spawnable blocks there. Could probably get away with just putting redstone or something down right there. But yeah, I mean, look at this hub. This is amazing. Thank you guys for all your hard work. I think we topped last season's hub by a long shot. And it didn't take the entire map to get one finished. That's the best part. And we got a little bit of walkway up here. I think this is all just for kind of cool design purposes. So yeah. He's got a few. I bet you those are ghost blocks from he was mining. But yeah, this hub is just amazing. And I'm going to go ahead and start the long journey back to the uh, spawn island. Or not spawn island. The mushroom island. So we can get digging and maybe get something up. This episode, I realize now, is running a little into the long period. So I don't know if I'll get the storage room complete this episode. It might be, hey, we've got the shape done. But I'll see you then. Alright guys, so I don't have a lot of time left, but I said we'd do a little bit of work today. So, while at work, you know, because what are you else are you supposed to do at work other than thinking about Minecraft, I kind of laid out an idea on a sheet of paper of what I would like in my base. That's a nice little cave. Screw you, bat! These guys have been annoying the bejeebus out of me. For I don't know how long now. I know I don't get any mob spawns over here. But I still get bat spawns. Which is annoying. And I don't want bats. They're loud and obnoxious. So we're just going to do a little bit of light up. Hopefully to deter bats. Because bats suck. Okay. But back to... Uh... Oh. Caves go on forever! See? Bat! Bats are bad. Where, where's my sword? Where'd you go? Sucker. Okay. Another one. I, I'm not doing it. Not doing it. Not right now. This is where I was at, right? Yep. Okay, so the plan is... On this straight right here... Now, I have kind of the layout of how I want the chest. I don't have the design worked out, which is kind of the bad thing. But So, I don't want a really tall roof. I think we're only going to go five chests tall. So, we won't need too much. Luckily, his two beacons still going. But we're going to come back this way a little bit. and I guess I'm going to have to use all this stone to 
fill in to get it to look right. But back here a little ways. I wasn't expecting a tunnel back here. Kind of expecting uh, solid stone, so this would have panned out just a little bit easier. But now that we've got a little space, so how far is this? Was my math correct? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Math was not right. I thought it was nine. So it just means more space than I thought. What I might do, because even though this thing's a giant circle, I don't want it to feel like a giant circle. So we're going to have little pieces protruding from here and protruding from there, maybe there. And then I don't want, like, just solid flat walls when you come into one of these inside these little nooks. Or I shouldn't say nooks. I should say grooves in that circle. So I'm thinking it'll kind of maybe I'll arc it this way. And then come back and do another circle. My whole idea was, so I'll have my storage chest here and here. And instead of having the bulk storage down underneath, like I originally said, and I'm sorry if you guys hear my AC turned on. It's like 100 degrees today, so it's going to be running a lot. But stupid bats! <laughs> Can I kill it? Or are you just going to bother me? Stupid bat. Anyways, bulk storage is going to move up here in the storage room because obviously I have a ton of space. So we'll have regular chests on both sides. Normally I do kind of a uh, U-shaped storage room. So like this would be the center and then this would be all the chests going around. And that's just so I can see everything. This time I'm thinking about doing a galley, which is just chests on both sides. And then at the end of the galley is where we're going to do the bulk storage. So I can do a cool item elevator for that. That'll probably be the only automated part of the storage room. Because I really don't want to worry about lagging the server too much. So that'd be good. And then for down here, I know I said this part was going to be for personal farms and everything like that. Yeah, I take that back. I'm going to try to keep away from any personal farms. And then just share the farms with everyone else on the island. I think what I'm going to do is make this a uh, subway station for my base so the guys on the island uh, hopefully they're they'll be down with this i haven't talked to any of them about it but maybe we could connect little subway stations to uh, cool things on the island and it'll it'll be a nice way to get around now we talked about having kind of a miniature hub in another with portals that bring you to different parts of the island I'm thinking the subway system might be a cooler idea. So maybe I could talk them into that. But yeah, so... We're going to have an arcway up there. And a galley-style uh, storage room. My words are just bad today. Oh, I threw that way too deep. But yeah, guys. I'm sorry we didn't... This was another episode where technically we didn't do a lot on screen. But a lot of progress was made. Like... I want to say digging this hole out took me almost an entire Saturday afternoon. It was like five hours or something like that to dig it out. And then coming up with this design, <laughs> even though it's super simple, because this whole thing was di different colors several different ways, and the design in it was several different designs. So going up and down that giant wall to design something, it just took forever. But we've got a plan for here. We've got a cool plan for down there. Hopefully, by the time you guys come back, I'll have this room functional with some chests and stuff in here. But we'll save decorating it for next episode so we're doing something on camera again. And I'm probably going to go ahead and just try to build the elevator off camera because it's a lot of boring redstone. And it's kind of it's a pain to try to record it because there's so many failing or not fails, but... Bad things happen when you record redstone. So, plus I usually have two or three people with me going, yeah, push the button again. No, that didn't work. Okay, try that, push the button again. And it's like that for four or five hours. So that's not going to be fun to watch. But I'll get this ready and prepped, and we'll have some fun uh, decorating in here. 
we'll get... Hopefully the elevator will be done at that point so we can show up. I'm going to try to get these walkways done too. So that way we actually have some platforms to walk around and we can start designating areas instead of these one wide glass paths. But yeah guys, let's go ahead and end right here looking into the dark chasm of what will be the storage room. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know again, it didn't seem like we did a lot, but it was a lot of work. Um, really hope you guys enjoy the hub. Give X a lot of praise for that thing. That thing was gorgeous. Um, Spawn Town got a lot of work done to it. I just haven't visited the shopping section of that in a while. Maybe we'll start next episode off at the shopping section to show you all the cool stuff that's popped up. But yeah, guys, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you're worried about missing any of the new videos. And like always, see you.